we're going on with our area work today. But first of all, we're going to be uh, doing a couple of money questions, going back to what we did a few weeks ago. So first of all, find three fifths of 216. So to find three fifths of an amount, remember you divide by the denominator and then multiply by the numerator. So we're going to do 216 divided by five, first of all. So five into two doesn't go. 5 into 21 goes 4 times with 1 left over. 5 into 16 goes 3 times with 1 left over. But remember, we're working with money here. So we could write £216 like that, couldn't we? So this 1 has carried on to that 0. So 5 into 10 goes twice. You've got to remember and keep your decimal points in line. And 5 into 0 goes 0. So one fifth of 216 is 43 pounds 20. And now we need to multiply that by three to get three fifths. So zero times three is zero, two threes are six, three threes are nine, four threes are 12. We've got two decimal places in the question. So we need two decimal places in the answer. And the answer is 129 pounds and 60. Okay, and the next one, what change would you get from £20 if you bought items costing £1.78, £10.63 and £4.36? So what we're going to do is add these amounts together and then find the change from £20. So 8 add 3 is 11, add 6 is 17, 7 add 6 is 13, add 3 makes 16, add 1. Make 17. 1 add 0 add 4 add 1 is 6. And then we've just got a 1. Okay, so those three amounts add up to £16.77. So we need to work out the change from £20. Well, let's think. To get from 77 pence up to the next pound, we would need to add 23 pence on. That would take us up to £17. So then we'd need another £3 to make it up to 20. So the answer is £3.23, and you could have just as easily got that by doing this subtraction, but you would have had a lot of carrying to do. Okay, anyway, yesterday we looked at areas of L shapes, and today we're going to look at areas of C and T shapes. So it's very, very similar. Okay, here's our first one to look at, our first called it a c-shape basically a c-shape is a rectangle with a rectangle chopped out of it okay and that's how we're going to find the areas of these shapes so what we're going to do is complete the big rectangle and we're going to find the area of the whole big rectangle and then we're going to chop out this small rectangle and you can see that that will leave us with our C shape. Okay, so we're just, I'm going to get rid of what I've just done, all those scribbles. Okay, I'll leave that dotted line there. So the big rectangle is 20 by 12. OK, so the way that we're going to set this out, we're only dealing in rectangles. So I'm going to say A equals L times B. And then the way that I'm going to um, write this down, like we looked at yesterday, is we're going to find the area of the big rectangle. And then we're going to find the area of the small rectangle and then we're going to subtract. So the area of the big rectangle is length times breadth. So that's 20 times 12. So two twelves are 24, so 20 times 12 must be 240. Then we're going to find the area of the small rectangle. And we can see the small rectangle is 9 by 5. So that would be 45. So the area that we're looking for is going to be the big area, which is 240. Take away the small area, 
which is 45, and that gives us 195, whoops, Daisy, 195 square centimetres. Okay. Our next C shape does look a bit more like a C because of the position of it, but we're going to do the same thing as last time. So we're going to complete the big rectangle like that, and we're going to look at the dimensions of the big rectangle and the small rectangle. So only working with rectangles, so we can start off with our formula A equals L times B. And we're going to look at the area of the big rectangle, the area of the small rectangle, and then we're going to take them away. So the big rectangle is, we can see it's 16, but we need to find this length here. So if we look at the other side, we've got 8, 12, and 3. And if I just move that line over there, we can see that 8, 12, and 3 add up to this length down here. So 8 and 12 is 20, and 3 makes 23. So this is 23 centimetres. Okay, so the area of the big rectangle is 23 times 16. And we're going to look at how to work that out in a second. And then the area of the smaller rectangle is going to be 12 by 6. Okay, so um, hopefully you know your 12 times table. So 12 6 is a 72. We need to work out this 23 times 16 though. I would suggest that we work out 23 times 10 and 23 times 6 and then add them together. All right, so 23 times 10 is 230. 23 times 6, so 3 6s are 18. 2 6s are 12, add the 1, makes 13. So we've got 230 and 138 makes 368. So when we find the area that we're looking for, we're going to subtract the 72 from the 16 times 3, which is um, 368. So we're doing 8, take away 2 is 6. 6 take away 7, we need to borrow 1. 16 take away 7 is 9. 2 take away nothing is 2. So 296 square centimetres for the area of that C shape. Okay. Now these are called T shapes because if you turn them around, um, they can look like a capital T. It's basically two rectangles stuck together, but in a slightly different way than we had for our L shapes. Now, we're going to do these by splitting them into rectangles and we've got choices. If we want to, we can split across here and then we'll have three rectangles. But if we split here, we've only got two rectangles. So that's a little bit easier to deal with. Okay, so we're dealing with rectangles only. So we can write down our formula A equals L times B for area equals length times breadth. So we'll do that for rectangle one first. So rectangle one is five by, we need to find out what that is, okay? So if we think all the way down there is 18, we know that that bit of it is four and that bit of it is six, that makes 10. So there must be eight left for that one. So the area of one, Rectangle 1 is length times breadth, so it's 5 times 8, so that's 40. Rectangle 2, well, we've got the length of it, that's 18. And I've just realised I've not given you enough information on this one. There we go, let's put that length in there as well. So the area of rectangle 2 is going to be the length times the breadth, so 5 times 18 or 18 times five, which you can do down here if you want. Eight fives are 40, one five is five, 
Add the four makes nine. So 18 fives are 90. So the total area, we're going to add these two together and get 130 square metres. Okay, I'm going to do one more example of a T-shape and always split your T-shape so you're getting two rectangles rather than three if possible. Okay, so again, we're only dealing in rectangles, so we can write down our A equals L times B formula. Then the first one, the area is length times breadth. So we need the length of rectangle one, so that if we look at it here, we've got three and six already. So that bit in there is four. So three and four and six makes 13. Okay, so our big rectangle number one, that's got a length of 13 and a breadth of five, 13 times five is 65. Rectangle two, the length is four, the breadth is seven, so that's 28. So the total area is gonna be equal to these two added together so 5 add 8 is 13, 6 add 2 is 8, add the 1 makes 9, and we're in square centimetres again. Okay, so that was just a little go at how to find areas of C shapes, which you generally do by starting off with a big rectangle and chopping a rectangle out, or a T shape, which is made up of two rectangles which you add together. Okay, so you've got practice questions to do on that. Good luck with those. And um, we're going on to do more area questions tomorrow. We're going to look at areas of composite shapes with slope inside. So it's going to involve triangles. See you then.